if you've turned on the TV or open up your phone in the past week or so, or even socialize, you've heard that the government is making people with good credit pay the loans of people with bad credit, all because of Joe Biden. But is this the truth? Not necessarily. I'll tell you before going on, this is not going to be a political statement. This is a financial video where real estate is concerned. Yes, some people will be paying more for loans. In this short video, I'm going to tell you who that is going to be and how you can get around it if you're one of those people. While this fuss is about something called LLPA, Loan Level Pricing Adjustments, small rises in the rates that people are being charged based on their credit score and down payment on conventional mortgage loans. It's a little different for an FHA loan. Those loans are either yes or no, and the rates will pretty much be the same for a 580 or an 850. Well, these adjustments have always been there, or at least for the last 10 years. Loan officer puts your information in a computer, and a computer spits out a better rate if you have a 780 than it does if you have a 620 credit score. It's just the way it is. Same way with cars, pretty much everything else. What's being done now is a bit of a shift to have less of a rise or bump for the lower credit score people who still qualify for a loan, and a bit more of a rise for the higher credit score people with 20% down, who incidentally will be the most effective. But isn't having a high credit score and put 20% down a good thing? Well, not anymore. Before I get into telling you why, you need to know the basics of PMI, private mortgage insurance. When you have less than 20% down, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac require a separate company to step in and insure part of that loan in case you're foreclosed. It becomes part of your monthly payment. FHA has something similar, but for now, that's all you really need to know about that. So why more on a 20% down payment loan? 20% down loans are the highest loss loans for Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae. Because when you put 20% down, you don't have to pay mortgage insurance, so there's no backup for them. They eat 100% of whatever's lost in that loan if they have to foreclose on the house. And let's face it, when they foreclose on a house, they're not getting a house that's totally repaired and up to date and modern and gorgeous and shiny and all that stuff. But this change is also good news for first time buyers and sellers in first time buyer markets especially in our area of Northeast Philadelphia, Lower Bucks, and Eastern Montgomery County. A lot of the buyers that did not qualify for a conventional loan six months ago and have been trying to find something using their FHA pre-approval may now qualify for a conventional loan. It puts them in a better position to get an offer accepted by a seller to buy the house that they've been losing to better bids. FHA often makes a seller do repairs that a buyer would rather do themselves. Therefore, FHA offers are not accepted by sellers as often as conventional loans. And we're talking about seller perception here because it's really up to them what offer they accept, even though there's technically nothing wrong with having an FHA loan. And the good part for sellers with this is that they don't have to worry about FHA repairs. FHA is not a monster that people make it out to be and they don't want you to rebuild your house. They just want to ensure the buyer's getting a quality, safe product. But there's no two ways about it. Sellers prefer conventional loans. And don't forget, either way, these people have to qualify for a loan, so it's not like it's a repeat of what happened 20 years ago with subprime buyers. This has nothing to do with that. So if you're in that group of people who want to put 20% down but are going to get banged on your rate because you in March you were in a great position, but now it may be costing you a lot more, although things change, it could change at any minute. Right now, there's nothing stopping you from getting a 10% down, lo down payment loan and recasting it by putting the additional 10% down to make your PMI go away. Not every loan recast, so make sure your lender has an ability to give you such a loan. If not, call me and I'll put you in touch with one of my lenders. There's a lot of talk about how this is going to affect our market, our neighborhoods, and our pockets, and even talk about how our children and grandchildren will be affected by this right now. So if you have specific questions about your particular circumstances, feel free to reach out. I'm always available. Look under this YouTube video for some more useful information. If you know anybody I can help, feel free. Send this to them or give them my number. And thanks for watching.